Good morning, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mara Christine Moffor, the Executive Director of WSI, the International Organization for Women in the Seafood Industry. I am very happy to introduce this seminar, Gender Equality, Bridging the Gap, the outcome of a close collaboration with the North Atlantic Seafood Forum. I am delighted to welcome leaders of renowned seafood and food companies. I, think, I thank them for accepting our invitation and sharing with us their policy and practices to address gender gap in their companies. You know, the specificities of the seafood industry is that it doesn't lack women. Women represent one in two seafood workers. They are there, but they experience a visible and invisible discrimination due to their gender. Social and economic research studies evidence that if the seafood industry was a country, it would be one of the most unequal on the planet. Let me give you an example that will talk to you. The number of female board members peaks at 15%, just one point above the mining industry. But as you know, the difference is that there are very few women working in the mining industry compared to the seafood industry. In the large scale survey that we produced in 2018, 70% of women consider that the industry is unequal, doesn't give, doesn't offer the same opportunities to men and women compared to less than 30 men who have this feeling. So here is the first gap we should fight. Men and women don't view the situation in the same way. We know that privilege is invisible to those who have it. In other words, men are not aware of the situation. But many of us want to change that. And I'm glad to meet some of you today. Not only is the gender gap large, but it causes damageable social and economic impacts. In the absence of forceful laws, private corporate can make the difference. And this is what we're going to talk about today with you. In our latest research, we analyzed the gender equality policy of 53 companies all along the supply chain in seafood, large companies. One result is that nearly 50% of all fishing, fish farming, seafood processing companies have initiated gender equality policies in one way or another. And today we will hear some of them, from some of them, the reason of their engagement. But this gives hope really. Gender equality is a complex issue, but no more than marine stock management or is it, it should be treated as seriously. We at WSI work with scientists, public officers, and private stakeholders to raise awareness and understanding of this question. So before leaving the floor to the speakers, let me take the opportunity to ask your financial support. WSI needs you as we are the most active global NGO informing the seafood industry on gender, and we totally rely on the support of the entire industry. So we host today a fantastic panel of speakers covering the entire supply chain who have prompted in their company gender equality policies. Ian Smith, the CEO of Clearwater Seafoods, will present the situation in his company in the fishing company located in, the, in, in, in Canada and the UK. Therese Logbergjord, CEO of Scrating, CEO of Nutrigo, producer of fish feeds for farm fish. Benetta Butner, CEO of Nusit Nutritional, also an international feed producer. Severine Betty, the co-lead of Sodexo Gender Network, will tell us what Sodexo, the leader in hospitality business, has done. Kathleen Mattison, the Global HR Director at, seafood, at uh, Greek Seafood, will help us to understand what they have done in her company. 
And finally, Christelle Vigo, the chairwoman of WSI, will tell you a bit more about what we do. They all will help us to understand what a person, what a team, what a company does to eliminate gender gap and promote integration and talent. Because at the end of the day, the very competitive seafood company needs to change, to change every source of economic performance, and gender equality is one of them. I wish you would be inspired by them and that they will help you to reflect upon how your organization can engage in the modern and progressive road. We need to reshape the seafood industry and make it more responsible, more equal, more attractive in, in the 21st century. So be please be part of the change with us. I hope to see you next year in Bergen live. Uh, so this is the Bergen Neste O, or Hadebra or Mangetag. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.